Kiro 106. Controls Overview. Hello and welcome to another Kiro tutorial video. In this tutorial we will have an overview on controls and their applications. Control blocks determine the flow of a program based on decisions which are taken under a given condition. In Kiro control blocks are characterized by the following features. 1. Orange color. They are placed directly in the flow diagram at positions where a decision has to be made. 2. A condition. This is user-defined by placing a conditional statement in the available block. 3. Body. When the defined condition is met, the program executes actions listed in the body of the block. The three most commonly used control blocks are the if block, the if else block and the while block. All three of them examine the condition which is placed in the slot. When the condition is met, they behave in different logic. If block. If the condition is met, the program executes the content of if's body without being interrupted, even if the condition stops being true. Otherwise, if the condition is false, the program skips the content of the if body and proceeds to the next block on the flow diagram. If else block. If the condition is met, the program executes the content of if's body without being interrupted, even if the condition stops being true. Otherwise, if the condition is false, the program executes the content of the else's body. However, if the condition is changed during the execution of else, then it is instantly interrupted. Wild lock. When the condition is met, the program executes the content of its body in a loop. This loop is executed as long as the condition remains true. If the condition becomes false, then the sequence is instantly interrupted and proceeds to the next block. The combination of control blocks in a flow diagram offers a wide variety of different ways to program your robot. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Bye bye for now.